Hello, hello everybody and welcome back. Welcome back to the uh, what the fuck was that voice I just did? God, who even fucking knows? Who even knows at this point, man? I just, I just do shit. <laughs> just, I'm just, I've slowly lost my mind. It doesn't even matter. Um, I did have a, I did have an inquiry from last time. Large Titanite shards. I have two. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to get, we're gonna have to get more of those here in, in Blight Town. And I would imagine you guys what probably want me to go through Blight Town the standard way. Um, just because that is, that will probably lead to the maximum amount of just utter fucking dog shit. Or I, I would imagine it would anyway. So, who knows? So I guess, I guess that's a thing. Also, I forgot to level up. Hey, humanity! All of it. There's so much ambient noise in the depths, there always is, and I feel like I have to yell over it because my headphones are a little bit louder than probably what the game is. I'm sorry, yeah guys! Niagara Falls looking really great this time of year! Hanging out uh, over here with uh, John, John, John Schminkelman, and uh, it's looking pretty good. Got a lot of rats, a lot of rats, too many rats to be, to be completely honest. A lot of them, a lot of rats, a lot of rats, a lot of bonies. You know the deal. What the hell? Where there was a, there was a movie where like the zombies were called like bonies or some shit. Oh, it was that fucking that parody film, the, uh, the one about the. The zombie man who falls in love with a girl and love slowly cures his zombieism. What the fuck was the name of that? I, I remember, I remember it because I remember seeing it and thinking to myself, like, I actually don't hate this. <laughs> like, I like it got so like parody that I was just like, I don't even hate this. Like, this is actually, this is actually kind of fun. Like, I remember it being like that. That was kind of how I felt about it. Like, I wasn't just absolutely in love with the movie, but it definitely ended up being uh, more more fun than I thought it would be. So there's that, which is a, which is a benefit. Hey, more humanities. All the manatees. Look at them. Look at those all. They're all over the screen. Can't even fucking handle how many manatees I got. Get it, rat. Oh no! No no! Second worst nightmare. Second worst nightmare confirmed. True nightmare. Ah, oh, true nightmare. Wasn't ready. I should have been ready. Wasn't ready. Oh lord. Okay, we're good. My God, was not was not prepared. Should have been prepared. But my god, Black Phantom Rats. Can we just talk about how, how could it get, dude, we, okay, so we've seen, last episode we saw fucking, we saw Torch Hollows, this time we got fucking Black Phantom Rats. What's next? What's next? Black Phantom Dogs? Because at this point, I'd believe it. Also, it looks like the aggro mod doesn't affect the rats, but I think they have a slightly different aggro table anyway. Um, or it's always kind of seen that way. Like, I think they've, uh, I've always thought this, this area was interesting because the the filter they, because uh, the filter they put on the uh, the light coming down where uh, gaping anus is, like, boy, I'd make an edit for that, but that is, mm -mm. <laughs> that is no, no sir, oh thank you, all right big rat, get it dude, and we got Chandler down there who's buffing said rats, which is just my, if there were any, if there was anything in this game that boy do I love. It's channelers and large buff rats. I'm talking swole rats. Wow, he had like no health. They're still buff though, so that's a bit dangerous. So I probably wanna go this direction and let these guys do their, oh balls. Cause there's an ambush there, fuck. Yeah, but I could still like filter them out. Double tap it, fill it up. Oh Lord. I wasn't ready to hear the poison noise yet already. God almighty, I hate when I'm fighting two of these, two of these guys and like they're, uh, they're attacking. Can you hear me? Can you hear me Can you hear me <laughs> They're too fat, they can't get through. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, that's perfect. Oh, I fucking hate you guys. Look at you. You suck. You suck. You suck ass, eat a fireball! I missed both of them! Oh my god, I suck! Oh no! We got him. We got him, everybody. It's fine. However, I am not gonna have like I, I need to open up that shortcut because I'm not gonna have like anywhere near anywhere near the uh, the amount of Estus that I'm going to need to perform this uh, or at a reasonable level because I have one Estus left. Um, I'm not gonna fight the giant rat. I think because that would just be a huge fucking mistake. Uh, I actually don't really remember where I want to drop. I think it's there. Yes. 
There's, a, there's like a couple places I normally like to drop for this, but um, well, let's uh, first off, let's we got a we got a beeline, dude. Like I gotta go. Oh, I'm not I'm not human. I I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind uh seeing what's up with old old Kurt. Okay, where am I going? God, I'm actually I'm actually a little turned around in here. Holy fuck. I'm like kind of okay with that. Like it's weird. It's like strange because like some of the sometimes like I get a bit lost and I kind of like it. Like because it, it I don't know, it gives me like this kind of like it's like I wouldn't say like a fresh feeling, but it's kind of nice to not like know the exact route sometimes. Like that's I don't know. Oh. Whatever that is, I don't care. Oh no. Dude, we we are Push it to the limit. Walk along the razor's edge. Don't look back, just keep your head. You can. In the arms of the angel, fly away. You know, I'll say at the end of everything, at least me. <sighs> at least we opened the shortcut. Good. Great. Perfect. The fucking Black Phantom Rats! Ugh. Oh. Well, at least we opened it. Now we can go and get our sad sack souls back. Where the fuck did he even come from? Because he came... He came down. But... I have no idea. I guess he came... That's so weird. Like, where did he come from? Because I'm pretty sure he came from the, the top. Because I think he dropped down... Or maybe he came from the bottom. I don't know. Maybe he was like super fast. No idea. Absolutely no clue. Uh, I did want to. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's fucking black phantom rats. I do want to human because I would love to get Solar in on the. Uh, I, like I don't know. There's something about it's weird because like I don't really like summons in like Dark Souls two, Dark Souls three. I don't really like them in, like, any of those. Like, I don't really like them in Bloodborne, either. Like, I don't really like them in Dark Souls 3 at all. Like, as far as, like, NPC summons, there's something endearing about the NPC summons in Dark Souls 1, I think. Like, there, there's something about it that's, like... I don't know, like, there's a certain camaraderie you feel with the, the summonable NPCs in, in Dark 1 that you really just don't... I don't know, I just never, like, got that, like, connection with any of the other ones. Like, I mean, you got fucking Tarkus, you got... Solaire, and I want to say, oh, it's nostalgia, right? But, like, I don't know if it's nostalgia so much as it is, like, it's world building. And, like, you feel like they're, I don't know, it's always felt like they're kind of in it with you, as opposed to being, like, these just entities that just exist. Like, I feel like they have their own agency. Like, they exist as well, but it's, like, this, this strange, like, camaraderie between you and them, and, like, kind of just living in this world. Well, you know, the blend between worlds, time, and all that shit, but... You know, it's like this weird kind of, yeah, I don't know. They've always felt more like friends than they did like, I don't know, just like standard ass summons, if that makes like any sense. So, I don't know, man. It's just one of those things. It's just one of those, it's just one of those vibes I get, you know? Like, it, it's, they're nice. They're nice to have around, like buddies. But then again, that's kind of how like Lordran's always felt like this like kind of second home kind of place, like whenever you go through it. Like, you just kind of like know it in and out, and it, it's always good. It's always good to come back. But, yeah, I don't know, man. Something about the NPCs. I mean, you guys will have to let me know what you, what you think. Like, if you care about, like, the NPCs, like, in any of the other ones. Because I, I really don't. I, I, like, I just don't. All right, Solar, we're going to give you, we're going to give you a fighting chance on this one. Because, uh, I'm going to enter the fog before you get here. So he's not going to be as strong. And we're going to see. Actually, I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to make Solar fight this guy on his own. No way. Oh, Lord have Master! I do think I want to cut his tail. Um, I normally don't, and I know we won't really be using it unless I, like, set up for quality. Or, yeah, unless I, like, set up for, like, a quality build or something like that. But, uh, either way. Because, I mean, I, I could technically set up for quality and, like, chop off his little chicken legs! He does, he has, like, little chicken feet. I guess because he is Lizardo. God, Solar, you're getting so fucked up, baby! I love you, dude, don't die! This is this is the challenge. Kill kill gaping anus before Solaire dies. Probably going to be a difficult task. 
Oh lord, here it comes. Yo, Gaping Dragon is like, he's like the beginning of the game. Like, Gaping Dragon has always been like when I feel like the game like really kicks off. Like, he he's not difficult by any stretch, but he's got more health. He He's a bit more relentless in his attacks. He does have a very, I mean, he has a very clear strategy. Like, Gaping Dragon's like not difficult to beat. Um, I mean, especially if you bring in Solaire, because he'll, he'll buy you some time to get some damage in like early in the fight. But even without Solaire, I mean, his patterns are pretty predictable. He's a fairly easy boss encounter. And the only way you can really get killed is if you do what I'm doing and just like play really recklessly and like get up in his face and don't wait for him to do like his uh, chest slam. So I mean like, you know, he's he's actually a really good boss. Um, predictable enough patterns and all that crap, so. There he goes, Solar, you did it, yeah! Woo! You did it, buddy! Hot diggity frog! You lived. All right, man, you just take it easy, baby. Stay, stay as whatever you are. Fucking <laughs> stay, stay whatever it is, whatever it is you do. We're gonna get our, uh, we're gonna get our probably, uh, final armor set for the game. You know, it's really cool, there's all these, like, little pathways and shit in here that I, I really like. And these little fucking vents and stuff, like, I'd love to, like, go in those and, like, see what's behind it. I mean, I know, like, if you know clip through it, there's gonna be just nothing back there, but... I don't know, man, like, I've always liked all that. It's neat. Like, this whole area in general is really cool, because you got the depths, which is, like, you know, really confined, and you come out here in this big open boss room, there's a crack in the ceiling, you got this giant, like, trough down there of where the water's falling down. It's fucking cool, man. Like, the depths is cool, but it's probably, like, my least favorite area in the game. Uh, probably for just the first part, because I don't, I don't like sewer levels. Anytime you put my ass in a sewer level, like, I fucking hate them. I've always hated them, no matter what game. I don't care if it's fucking Legend of Zelda, I don't, I don't care what it is. Like, I, I fucking hate it. I've never, ever enjoyed sewer levels, ever in my life. God, I, I'll tell you what I'm not looking forward to is large Titanite farming. But we're doing it all legit. I mean, I could be like, yeah, you know, instead of doing a farming episode, I'm just gonna just pop in some large Titanite for myself. But I don't, I don't like doing that, dude. Like, this one, I just, I just want this to be like a normal, a I like how I say I want it to be a normal ass run, and we're fucking doing, <laughs> we're doing the goddamn hyper aggressive shit. It's funny. You know what? I never, I never purchase any of this anymore, and I, f I feel bad about that. I mean, it's all like super expensive, but it's an interesting armor set. And I don't even think they ever even touched on fucking a. Uh... No, I guess, I guess they kind of did like with the. Ex no, they didn't. Fuck, fuck you, from. You didn't do shit. <laughs> you didn't do shit. You didn't touch on anything that we cared about. I feel like had they like in the and in the Dark Souls 3 DLC, I guess spoilers like I don't know, skip ahead like a minute. I feel like if they had gone back and uh if they had just rehashed fucking Artorias to the Abyss, I probably would have been okay with that. <laughs> like well, I don't know why. I just I feel like I just would have been alright with that. I don't think uh I don't think Kirk's gonna get summoned anymore if uh nah he's not. Eh, it's fine. Who cares? Fucking armor of thorns, who cares? I don't care. You care? I don't. I just don't, man. I feel like we can make it to the first bonfire in Blight Town, but at the same time, I feel like we can't. That is our goal for the episode, is to make it to the first uh, first bonfire. So, smart thing to do, we go up here, go fucking, go upgrade our shit. What is this scaling on the Baldur side sword? I feel like it's a B, right? Maybe? Yeah, it's a B. I don't remember what it is at, uh, at max rank or whatever. There's something that kind of drove me crazy about fucking, uh, but Dark Souls 3, like, you have to have, like, the upgrading the weapon was, like, so fucking important, like, because stat investment, like, wasn't any good, like, the scaling and all that shit, like, unless you, like, infused it in the direction you were going, and then also, like, jack that bitch up to max, like, the scaling on it was just fucking god-awful, which in, which in a way, uh, kind of alleviates some of the issues, uh, but at the same time, it, I think, causes some more, in terms of, like, player power, uh, like, player power, I think, I think player power in Dark Souls 1 got gets a little out of control. Uh, I think it, they probably had player power best in uh, Dark Souls 2, oddly enough. I feel like, uh, I, I feel like point by point, like, you know, depending on like what your SL was, I feel like it was a bit more balanced in terms of, I mean, Dark Souls 2 has like a million different issues I could talk about, but uh, I, I feel like player power in a strange way was like super balanced in Dark Souls 2. Like you wouldn't, it, you you couldn't like you wouldn't see like an instance where like somebody who was like 20 soul levels above you like just absolutely just push your shit in whereas like point for point 
strength and things like that in Dark Souls 1. Uh, super fucking powerful. So, you know, if you're if you're in an instance where, like, yeah, get fucking destroyed. I really shouldn't talk shit. Because we, like, we all, we all know where this is going. Like, we, we all know. We all know what's on the docket for these assholes. Get fucked! <laughs> As I continuously do it, like I'm just I'm just going to push the envelope until I get fucking murdered by these guys because I guarantee Guarantee without a doubt there are black phantoms of these dudes. <laughs> Look at him running! Can you hear me running? Can you fucking kill me? Oh god. Oh Lord have mercy. Well at least that staggers him and we're almost capped on uh, decks ladies and gentlemen So that means once we get our weapon up to plus 15 Man, we're uh, we're in it like we're uh, we're good to go. Look at these dudes just coming from downtown. But yeah, once once we get this this baby jacked up and uh, we have forty decks, dude, we're uh, we're good to go, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be about maxed out for us. Cause I I mean I could I don't know what is it's fucking. I'll check in a second. I'm not about to. Uh, I forget what I'm doing and what mod I'm fucking playing and the fact that I should absolutely probably not be checking stats in the middle of this because there's shit walking towards it. Yeah, for sure is fucking whatever, dude. There it is. There it is. I, I kind of like disappointed. Like I feel like as I get my as I get my bearings more and more, um, I, I hope it doesn't get like less entertaining because there is there is a certain magic in being like rusty as all fuck. And like just being horrible in certain parts, like being okay generally, but then like randomly just sucking ass. Like, I, I kind of hope like I don't get my bearings like in that sense. Um, now most of these guys, I just realized we don't have any. Do we have any purple? God, please tell me I have. Some, I fucking don't. This is bad. Um, well, might be making a return to the bonfire here. I was supposed to. I was supposed to dodge those guys a little bit better, but I didn't. So we're gonna have to make this jump on the fly. Hope I remember it. Oh, oh my God, I did it. I cannot believe I remembered where to jump. Jesus Christ. Like, I can't stress how long it's been since I've done that. Like, it has been so fucking long, dude. My God. Oh, well, now at least we're lit here. Oh Lord, they're coming. <laughs> I didn't actually want to come down this way. Okay, sorry, there's gonna be a cut there because train, train rolled by. Um, and I, I know you guys probably don't care that much, but whatever. Um, so I've been sitting here, I've been resting at the bonfire, which can effectively, these guys are so stupid, they just walk to their deaths in most cases. So I've basically just been able to, <laughs> I've basically just been able to sit here and just fucking rest at the bonfire. It's not a lot of souls, unfortunately, but it's enough to, uh, it's enough to warrant, you know, in the middle of a train passing. Just sitting here. You know, actually, farming large titan eye may not may not be that bad because we're gonna get the uh, we're gonna get the benefit of those all those guys like the the little fucking titanite lizard people fucking whatever they're leeches. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, the guys who drop the large titan eye, they're gonna they're just probably gonna like clump up and oh oh no oh no oh lord. You know, in a lot of ways, I thought Blight Town might be easier. It's not. It's it's got it's different. <laughs> it's like, oh my god! There's so many of them. Get out of here! Holy fucking no! You don't. No oh god! I missed. Get him off! <laughs> you sack of shit! Oh yeah, it's it's like it's different. It's got like its own breed of like stupid now. Like, well, it already did before, I guess. But fucking, oh no. Yeah, once they start the stun chain, dude, we are in like huge fucking trouble. Hopefully he'll just, he'll probably just fall off. Or not. Oh no! Hey! All right, <laughs> this worked better than expected. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I love you, Blighttown. You suck ass, but you, you have, you have a place. You always have a warm, special place in my heart, you fucking trash heap. Oh my god. God, I yeah, I actually rarely come to this side now that I think of it. Cause like there's not really anything down here. There's there's that, which I think that's like what? It's like a humanity or like a soul item or some shit. Yeah, fucking humanity. Thank you so <laughs> thank you so much. I go all the Oh! Was it worth it, Nick? Ask yourself that question! 
Was it worth it? The answer? No. Oh man, you ever shimmied backwards on this? This ain't good. I'm just hoping to God one of them. Okay, I had to eat that. There, there was, there was really no way around this. I, I, I had to eat it. I mean, I guess I could have rolled like. Fucking, we get it. Stop munching, you fucking grossy. You, you. Uh, yeah, I could have run. I could have rolled through it. I guess. Yeah, I mean, that's just one of those moments where it's just like, I mean, what the fuck are you gonna do, dude? Like, you could sit there and you could be like, yeah, I could have done this. Could have done the yeah. Could have, could have, would have, should have, dude. Could have, would have, fucking should have. Oh my god. <laughs> these these fuckers over here, dude. This isn't even the right spot. Is I actually have no idea where the fuck. See this? Is, oh wait, now they're over there. So I have to. Yeah, I know how to get to them. That's fine. This is one of those instances where I'm like, is it even fucking worth it to go get him? It's not. It's 9k, but. Oh my god. <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> you sorry. It's, it's fucking faster to Homeward Bone, I think. No, it's not! No, it's not! When you got things jumping at you! Oh, no! Oh, Lord! It's faster to fight. Losing me over here. It's faster to Homeward Bone. Yeah, dude, totally. Like, you know what else is faster? Getting killed by a fucking black phantom of those dudes. I, I hate these goddamn things so much. Like, with a passion that you just, you just can't understand. No one understands me. Everyone betray me. I'm fed up with this world. Okay, go up, dude. Oh my god. Like this this is just this is never gonna end. Cause these dudes, they live in the rickety, the rickety shanty town. They understand. They know it's ins and outs. Me, on the other hand, I am just a wee outsider. I'm not going to rest of the bonfire, because all that's gonna do is respawn all my favorite people, and I'm just I'm just not in the mood for it. I'm just not I'm just not dealing with it. I, I'm going, I'm going down, alright? Jeez, Louises. Are we even at the right? Yeah, we are. Ooh, low. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, Lord, have mercy. God, we are in such a bad spot. Yes, go, go, go. No, 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 no. Oh, come on, suck my dick. God damn it, we actually had that. Look at the mosquito! <laughs> he flew all the way up here with his little tiny flappy wings! Oh. Oh. Bum, da, na, 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 na. Alright, let's just go straight forward this time, because otherwise I'm gonna be here for like days. Alright, let's kill you guys before you have a chance to be utter shitlords. Fucking suck my dick. Okay, I need to be back on Estes. I, ugh, I really have always hated fucking uh, auto filling in the inventory. Like when you get a new thing and it like just it just adds it to your fucking inventory. I can't stand that. Or to your uh, to your hot bar or whatever. I'm I'm, do, I'm just gonna do it again. God fucking damn it. Okay. Bone home. Et bone home. <laughs> In the sound of silence Gonna get the lyrics wrong And go back and get my souls Let's see if we can get shit too far Probably can't but we'll try Oh fuck you little dog Little dog Breathing fire with your scaled down model. All right. See, this this is the issue. Like, I actually have no idea like what's around the fucking corner because they're all kind of like randomly just jumping down here in like intermittent intervals. Thank fucking god. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> spend this entire goddamn episode just trying to get that shit back. I just, I, I really just I, I want to get Dex like as far as I can. Uh, because we're gonna we're gonna have we're gonna have our plus ten weapon before I do uh Koi log. Oh my god! Just look at this shit. They're just fucking everywhere. Oh my lord! Just go, just go, just go. There we have. There is no time. <laughs> no chance. No chance to survive. Make your time. 
Okay, this is uh, this is gonna be interesting. So, great. Yep, this is good. I right, uh, yep, yep. We might still be alive if I can fucking get to my Estus. Oh my god, unbelievable, unbelievable! I cannot believe I'm fucking alive. I shouldn't be alive, dot JPEG. Wow, dude, I cannot believe I just lived through that. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna put in some fucking like punch out music or some shit. Maybe. I don't know. I say that sometimes and then I just pick something completely different because like in the editing process, I'm like, yeah, you know, it would work out much better. So what I need to do is stop fucking saying it and just be like, I'm gonna put something in there. And then whatever came in my head originally, if that's still there, well, great. If not, whatever. I dude, I can't hit this guy for fucking beans. Well, oh my god. Oh. Just get him, get him on the spam. Been playing too much Dark Souls 3. And by playing too- <gasps> God, fucking lock on. That would have been like the 15th time it's killed me. Oh no. I mean, I guess, I guess we're killing everything because there's literally no way out of here. Like, I'm, I'm going to have to just beat through like 15 fucking waves of these guys. That, that feel when Dark Souls becomes like a tower defense game. Fucking fuck butts! Just get in there with that button! And we did it! That's not even my favorite one. Why did I go to that one? Again, okay, Final Fantasy VII one's always been my favorite. Like, I, I will never, I will never stop. Never stop loving that one, man. So good. Okay. So, let, God, it never fuck. Yeah, honestly, like, I actually think this place, you know, I, I remembered it being, like, kind of easier. But, like I said, in its own weird way, depending on how smart the AI gets and, like, if it actually, like, paths correctly, this is a, this is a fucking nightmare. Because it's just, like, because normally you don't encounter, like, half these guys. Like, they just don't. Like, they just don't show up. But in this instance, well, great. Because they're just fucking everywhere. Everything is everywhere. But I will say, wow, I was about to just straight lie to you guys. Well, there haven't been very many black phantoms. Yeah, totally. <laughs> like, yeah, 100%. They probably didn't put a ton in here just because of like the way, the way like this area is like on its own. Like, I, I don't, yeah, I, I can understand them like not putting in like as many of like the black phantom things down here. Like in the event that the Grave Lord thing actually ever was like something that happened, which it just, it just wasn't. I mean, like, let's be real. No, nobody got to, like, Grave Lording was one of those things that just didn't happen, like, nearly as much as it could have. It's a really neat system. But I think, I think it would have enraged a lot of players. Like, I, I could see this, like, really pissing off a lot of people. Because, I mean, like, the game itself, I mean, difficulty curve-wise, like, before people were ready for this, and before, like, the series became, like, a trope of itself, I mean, yeah, the difficulty was up there. These dung pies from shit that's just fallen off. So, I mean, stuff does still fall off. It's just not nearly at the rate that you would that you would think, I guess. Like, the AI has actually done a pretty good job of not being, like, a complete fucking idiot. This episode probably should have been over. Oh! <laughs> it's, it's so funny seeing them, like, move around. And they're a lot less threatening if they are moving because then they're not blowing their stupid darts at you. But I really want to get my Wanderer's Coat and shit, which is, this is the new, this is the new goal of the episode, is get to the bottom bonfire and get our fucking Wanderer's Coat. Yay! Look at that! And the Falchion, so we can be a douche. Hmm. Let's see. I, I, I just, I detest the fucking Falchion, dude. Like, probably, probably one of my least favorite things ever. I don't like curved swords. Never have. <laughs> Look at this posse! Oh my god! Look, look at their asses! I can't do. I fucking can't. Look at these dumbasses. Oh my god, I'm gonna get killed. Oh my god, it's so perfect. I have to look at this. I I I gotta I gotta get. Look at this shit show. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god, I, I can't, dude. Oh my god. Oh, so stupid. Oh boy. 
Yeah, dude, getting to that bonfire is gonna be a fucking joke, dude. Oh my god. This is gonna suck. Holy fucking Christ. Oh my god, we get it. All right, we're not gonna have we're not gonna have a lot available to us, and we're gonna have to fight. Oh, fire we with silly eyes with your dangling glitterous faces. God, that's disgusting. I'm sorry. Look at this parade, dude! Oh my god, this is gonna suck balls. Oh, look at this dead ass motherfucker down here. I love it. I love it so much. I can't. I can't. Oh lord, we have waited too long. Everything and its fucking dog is down here. Oh, oh baby! Oh my god! We're not, oh, this is a bad, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to welcome to horrible situations. Horrible situations with bitter bits. Oh my god, this is really really fucking bad. I need like a humanity or something. I need a heal. Yeah, that that did me a fat lot of good. Okay, so probably gonna die. Um, unless I can figure out something, man. Holy fuck. I don't even know what's down here, like, dragon thing? Yep. Oh my god, this is... This is so bad. This is so fucking bad. Okay, well, they're stuck. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. So I guess I guess we're gonna be beelining uh, straight down to straight down to where we were. I love the frilly collar on this man. I love the wanderer stuff. It's awesome. It's the best. But that's gonna be it. I think for this time, guys. We'll run over a little bit on this, um, but that's gonna be it. Next time we got our wanderer's coat. Hooray! Let's give a clap. And next time we are going to, uh, I guess, mm, I guess make it to that next bonfire. I mean, we made it to it. We just. We just couldn't, we just couldn't use it because reasons and we waited way too long. Anyway, see you next time guys. Love you. Mean it.